Funky, what are you doing? Hey! What's up everybody, my name is Rita and Nancy, and today I'm doing my December favorites. This is the second time I've tried to film this video, and I'm not sure if it will look good this time. I'm gonna jump right in. Um, the first two things are hair products. The first favorite I have is this Argan Oil of Morocco. It's by Organics, and I used it my freshman year of college and really liked it. Um, you just put it on your hand and you put it through the ends of your hair, and it's supposed to make them soft and shiny and repair them. I have really fine hair and it breaks at the end a lot, so I use this to help keep it healthy. And then my next hair favorite is something that my sister got me. It's the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Um, Holly picked it up for me at Ulta and gave it to me as an early Christmas present. And I love this stuff. Um, I usually am not a really big fan of dry shampoos, but my hair gets really, really greasy very easily because it's so fine. And so this is perfect for me. Now I'm only washing my hair like every three to four days and I used to have to wash it every one to two days. I really like it. I'm almost out and I just got it this month. The next favorite I have is a beauty product. It's makeup and I actually bought this like three days ago. It is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation and I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this and so I went to go pick it up and I really like it. I am in the shade N3 Natural Buff. I really like it because it gives you that glowy finish and even though I have um, oily skin, I do like to have that dewy finish. And it's very light on your face. It doesn't feel like I have a lot of makeup on. It doesn't feel like kind of caked on. This has replaced my Maybelline Fit Me foundation, which I love as well, but this I like a lot more. I did have the Maybelline Fit Me foundation um, to kind of get that dewy finish because I saw Kathleen Lights wear it, but it was just way too dewy for me. It looked like I had just like put some like oil all over my face. The next three beauty products that I have are all from e.l.f. I kind of went crazy and in Target I bought everything from e.l.f. And so the first thing is this little brush. It is the e.l.f. Contouring Kabuki brush and it's just this little tiny guy. Um, it's very, very fluffy. I like it because it's very soft, very fluffy, and then the shape. So the bottom part is a little bit skinnier, and then the top part is a little bit fluffier, and that kind of helps to create the line that you want when you're contouring. So you put it on your face like this, you put the biggest part of the Kabuki brush at the top of your ear, and then bring it down, and that will kind of create that line that you want. I also use it for blending. It's really great to just kind of blend out my entire face when I'm done doing my makeup because um, a lot of times I'll do my contour, my highlight, and my blush and it'll look good but it doesn't feel completely blended and so I use this as my blending brush as well. And the next thing is the e.l.f. highlighter and under eye concealer duo. This side is an under eye concealer and this side is the highlighter. So the under eye concealer works really well. It reminds me of the NARS concealer or the Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I just put it in triangles under my eyes and buff it out with a powder brush. And then I use the highlighter just at the tops of my cheekbones and then on my cupid's bow and on the tip of my nose, um, just like every other beauty guru does. I really like this because I have yellow skin, like I have a yellow undertone to my skin. And so a white highlighter works really well. I put it on and then I set it with my NARS Copacabana highlighter stick. The next thing is this e.l.f. blush palette, and it's going to take me about nine years to open. Um, this is what the palette looks like. I really like these because I have a lot of different color choices now, and I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. I've been using it every day since I picked it up probably like a week, a week and a half ago. Something that I didn't like at first about this is how pigmented. It's great that it's very pigmented, but you literally only have to take your brush and dip it into the powder once. I think this was either three or six dollars, so I think for three to six dollars, um, this is a great palette. You have four different colors, and it's great. And it's gonna last you a long time because it's so pigmented. Okay, the next favorite I have is something that I got for graduation from my little sister. It is a jewelry box, and it says, Hello Lovely on the inside, and it has polka dots. I really like it. It has gold finishing, so it's gonna look really pretty in my room. And it opens up like this, and it has, oh, it has a little chain that keeps it open. It's perfect 
because my jewelry is a hot mess. Oh my god, I almost dropped it. My jewelry is a hot mess. It's in two Tupperware containers and it's just all over the place. So this is gonna help me organize my jewelry. Right now I'm in Pennsylvania using it for my like everyday jewelry. So I have like a necklace and a watch and then I found some bobby pins on the floor so I threw it in this drawer. If you wanna pick this up, you can go to Target. Oh no, it was on clearance. They won't be able to find it. Oh, just kidding, it was on clearance. Haha, -ha, I'm the only one who has it. My next favorite is a fashion favorite, and I only have one for you today, but I really like it. It is this little knit gray crop top from Forever 21. I like it because I think it's like a staple for your closet, because you can wear it with jeans, or you can wear it with black pants, or a skirt, or shorts, or a long sleeve shirt. What the heck? This fucker doodle! I usually wear this with my white, airy, lace halter top and I wear that underneath it because it kind of pokes out right here so it looks really cute and then I wear it with black skinny jeans and my tweed jacket that is black and green and I think it looks really really cute. I got this probably in November but I just now started wearing it so if you want to pick it up it is at Forever 21. Oh I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> okay so my next favorite is a book favorite and I got it from Jess. It is the 20 something guide to getting it together a step by step plan for surviving your quarter life crisis. This is perfect for me because I have either a quarter life crisis or an existential crisis weekly. And so this is hopefully going to help me get my life together because I graduated two weeks ago and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm currently in sweatpants and I've stayed in sweatpants for the past week. I've also taken a lot of naps. And I like how it's written. I like that it's not just a chapter to chapter book. What else? Oh, my last two favorites are not physical things I can hold in my hand, but the first one is a TV show. I have been watching How to Get Away with Murder, and I'm obsessed with it, and I watched the whole season, the whole first season, and now I want to move to season two, but I can't find the first or second or third or fourth episode anywhere, and I'm just like losing my mind because Hulu only has episode five through nine. That makes no sense. But if you haven't watched How to Get Away with Murder, it is really great and you can find it on Netflix. It's a Netflix original, I think. I actually have no idea. Just pretend I didn't say that. And then my last favorite are music favorites. And I, instead of just like listing all my music favorites, I'm going to link my Spotify in the description. And you can check out my fall 2015 playlist, see what I'm listening to. I'll also put some of the music at the end of this video with their names so you can go check them out. I'm really obsessed with Halsey right now. I like her whole album and I also like Justin Bieber's new album. Um, don't tell anybody I said that. What? Don't be embarrassed. Okay, so those are all my December favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, check out my blog for other favorites that I did not put in this video but I will have on my website. There's a link in the description or I will pop it up somewhere on the screen. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and a great holiday, but that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. This video is a hot mess. Goodbye.